Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to show edge tabs when snapping from one side of the screen or multitasking on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select the system option on the left panel here. And then on the right side, you want to go down to multitasking. Go ahead and just select that. Where it says show tabs from apps when snapping or pressing the alt and tab key combination. If you click on the drop down here, you'll see there's four different options to choose from. So basically these options, and they may vary slightly again, depending on your version of Windows. Some of these options may change now and in the future. So I remember, I think 20 most recent tabs, I think they used to just be all tabs if I recall correctly. So basically, if you just selected that option, you're going to see all the tabs in Microsoft Edge that are, have been recently opened. And you can move them or put them into any of the remaining panes in the snap layout that you have on your computer monitor. So if you select the five most recent or three most recent tab options, it'll show you the most recent tabs that you can place in any of the remaining panes. Basically the same as the all option. I mean, 20 most recent tabs, so that goes back pretty far. Probably been better if they just kept it, I think, as all tabs. I think that's what it used to be called. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And if you ever wanted to turn it off, let's say you get tired of using that at some point, you can just go where it says Snap Windows and click in this field in here. And then when it says when I snap a window, it suggests what I can snap next to it. If you just were to uncheck that option, that would turn it off. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.